Okay, everybody. Um, this is Chasing Blue. I am a now full-time artist alley, anime artist, um, who focuses on artist alley and stuff. And I thought today I would just do a quick tutorial. Um, this can be useful for people who have been in the industry for a little while or who are just getting started. Um, but something I worked out really recently on how to quickly on the fly, keep a really accurate track of my sales at conventions. Now this does require you to have a, um, an internet connection, be it through Wi-Fi, um, through your mobile cellular plan, um, whatever is available at whatever convention you might happen to be at. Um, so we're going to be using Google Sheets, which is completely free. If you have a Google account, which most people, if you're going to be watching this on YouTube, you have a Google account. Um, you can go to Google Sheets. Again, it's completely free. Um, this is really just basic spreadsheet stuff um, that I happen to learn in an Excel class I took in college. Um, and a lot of this carries over from Excel to Google Sheets. Um, so we're just going to get started by making a blank spreadsheet here. Um, I'm going to title it. I have a con coming up in about two weeks, so I'm just going to go ahead and use this and pre-make my, um, I can spell, um, my ledger for my upcoming convention. And I like to name these very descriptively, um, just so I can find it easily when I want to. So I'm going to expand this a little bit because this is going to have words in it. This is going to have the names of your items in this A column right here. So what we're going to do, this first column right here is just going to be your title. So I'm going to put item and then, um, price. And I want to format this again so it's very easily readable. So we're just going to go up here. I'm going to change it to bold, uh, bold um, size 12 font. You can choose the font if you want to. It's whatever. You don't even have to do all this fancy stuff. I just like to make mine a little bit more readable. And we use the uh, alignment tool right here to put it in the center. Now what we're going to do, I have it named. I have item price. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll really, really far down on this price column. So there's no way to know ahead of time how many sales you're going to make. You can adjust this if you end up exceeding it. But just for an example, um, I've never made this many sales in a single day at a con before. I'm going to go down to 150. And what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to type out a formula. Um, and this is going to add up all of the prices that you put in this price column. So uh, not that. So we're going to put equal sum parentheses and then so B2, we're not going to add B1 because remember that's where our text is that just says the word price in it. And then colon B149. And that's the column right before this, or the row right before this sum formula right here. And what that's going to do is it's going to add all of the numbers from cell B2 all the way down to cell B149. B being our price column, A being the name of the the item. So I'm going to scroll back up and just kind of show you how this works real quick. Let's say I sold um, one of my large original prints. So I'm going to put large koi made. I have a koi mermaid print. She's very popular. Um, my prints for a single print are 15. Um, and then let's say the next sale I sold, you know, a D. Luke charm from Genshin Impact. He sells really well usually. Uh, I'm not going to type in Genshin. I'm just going to put D. Luke charm. However you want to write out on the fly at the con that helps you keep track of everything. And then those I charge 12 for my um, for my 2.5 inch charms. So just for those two, I'm going to scroll all the way back down to that 150 cell and you can see it added it up for you. Um, and that's going to keep doing that all the way through that cell 149. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and delete these because, again, I'm pre-making this for a convention. Um, so I am actually going to be using the spreadsheet. So one other thing that I like to do real quick is I like a different sheet. I'm going to move this little thingy right here because it's in the way. Um, within the same file, you can have multiple pages. So I like a different page for each day of the con. So what we're going to do is rename this to Friday. And this sheet right here is just going to be my sheet excuse me, um, for the Friday of the convention. So we're going to add a new one for Saturday. Now you have to do all this again. I'm sure there is a way to just duplicate the settings that I have on this one like that. I can literally look, I learned a thing guys, literally while I was trying to teach you a thing, I learned a thing. Yes. I want to delete that sheet. So literally just duplicate that Friday twice and rename each one to the different days of your con. So Saturday, Sunday, you don't have to do this for a three-day con, obviously. Um, you can do this for a two-day con, um, but that's it. 
that's literally it. So now you have a ledger where you can keep very accurate track of your sales on the fly. Assuming you have a connection, you can literally type in your sales right after you make them. It's way faster in my experience than writing it down. Maybe I'm just really slow with my handwriting. Um, if you have people at your table, I know some people, um, obviously, um, it's best to try to pay attention when there's people at your table. Um, if you have somebody looking at your table while you're writing this down on your phone, your tablet, whatever you're using, um, in my experience, I've just been able to tell people, I, you know, I'm just recording this last sale. Let me know if you have any questions. That way they know I'm not just like texting or on, you know, Tumblr, or TikTok or whatever um, and just ignoring them. I just let them know, hey, I'm recording that last sale. I'm still all here. Let me know if you've got any questions. You know, if you're looking for anything specific, I'm just writing down this last sale. And they're usually pretty understanding. Um, so you shouldn't lose any sales just from like being on your phone, just recording your sales down. Um, so yeah, let me know if you have any more uh, questions in the comments. Um, obviously, I appreciate likes and subscribes. I'm going to be trying to be posting um, to my social media a lot more often. I am now a full-time artist. Um, so I'll be trying to post more to, you know, YouTube, TikTok, um, Twitter, Instagram are the main four that I'm on. I do have a Facebook page I haven't been keeping up with. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I really hope this helps y'all. Um, it helped me a lot uh, when I uh, kind of not really discovered it, kind of realized it. Again, I took that Excel class and I was like, I wonder if this works in Google Sheets. And it does, which means I can track these for every con. I can do it on the go, on the fly. It's super easy. It adds up my totals for me so I don't have to sit down and like write everything down from a paper ledger or anything like that. And it's really, really great for keeping track of things. So again, thanks so much for watching. I hope this helps y'all. Y'all have a wonderful day.